Jefferson Street may look like an ordinary local band, and for the most part, they are. They recently invited some family and friends to watch as they put together a live recording in Blaine, outside at the lead singer's house. It all started, uh, the drummer and I, Eric, were in a previous band together for about a year, and I decided I, I'm a songwriter, so I want to sing my own songs. But this singer and this band are doing some extraordinary things. I believe you're referring to my blindness, um, which uh, has really turned out to be a beautiful thing, actually. Bryce grew up with poor eyesight, but in his mid-20s, lost his sight altogether. Then Bryce went to a school for the blind in Minneapolis to learn how to live life without vision. He has taken this ailment and turned it into a positive. One of the most beautiful things, I think, of blindness, to me, in my opinion, is no more do I have this visual judgment that I label people with. You know, I, I, I get to know you for who you are and as a person inside, not what, you know, you may look like on the outside. The blindness is, um, it's really been a blessing all in all, and uh, nothing that you have should, should stop you or keep you from following your dreams. There were struggles along the journey. Through perseverance and strong will, Bryce has come back to music and wants to both entertain and share his message to anyone who will listen. Well, at first, it, the, the biggest hurdle to overcome was denial. Slowly, little by little, as I continued my training program, it went to slowly started to chip away and go away, and no longer do I have this, this um, poor me, I'm blind, or poor me, I'm, I'm, I'm not blind, I've never been blind. Um, now I fully accept it, and it's like, you know, this is just another part of me, just like my color of my hair or, or the color of my skin. It's just, a, it doesn't define who I am or, or anything like that. The band together will be doing work with Treetop Kids, an organization to help children who are in poverty and around bad influences. They will be playing a benefit show at the end of July with a few hundred kids involved. The vision is to have a farm where they can get out and have a house with some foster parents to get out of the uh, volatile situations and learn some work skills and you know just to have something positive in their life something to look forward to and um, you know ultimately change their direction in life the guys in jefferson street all love playing music and to do it for more than just themselves is an inspiration. If I would, I mean, if I could touch one person in that way, that that would be so cool to, to see whether it's a, a little one or, or a grown adult, you know, struggling with whatever condition it may be, in my case, blindness, um, and, and help them to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. That's kind of a funny one, being blind. Um, there There is light at the end of the tunnel, and if you just believe in yourself, reach deep down inside as who you are and, and um, you know, believe in yourself and say, I can do this and I will overcome any obstacle that comes my way. When it comes to the love of music though, this band just wants to rock. I kind of like a little bit of everything. Everything from old time country to good old rock and roll, Bob Seger, um, Elton John, uh, Joe Cocker. What it means to do good deeds while exploring your passion with friends is certainly overwhelming. Bryce is a really unique, great guy. Uh, he had degenerative eyesight loss in his young teens and his heart has just always been gratitude no matter what obstacle comes in his life and it's uh, Pretty inspirational. For North Metro TV News, Trevor Scholl reporting.